Uh, we just knew we had to, like, we were up early, like, up big early, and, like, we let them come back. We knew it was going to be a scrap out game, like, first, first GNAC game, so we just knew we had to play hard and then do, do the little things, and we can come out on top. Second straight win for you guys. You guys built off your victory on Saturday. Uh, talk about um, the momentum you guys feel you have right now. I feel like we got quite a bit of momentum, but it's kind of like a reset to every game. Like every game has its own individual things, so it's just one game at a time. Uh, one of the keys tonight was was the balance on your lineup. There were six different players who had eight or more points. Talk about that and why uh, a lot of different guys were feeling it. Uh, we just have a lot of different guys that can score in a lot of different ways, so it just helps with any time when like somebody's not getting a bucket, somebody else can go step right in, and it's just interchangeable almost. Uh, we just like had to come together. It was just like a team thing, like we always talk about, like team together. It's like we just had to keep that compact, come together, and just pull it out. Another GNAC game on uh, Saturday against Alaska Anchorage. What are your thoughts heading into that? Uh, looking forward to it. Just GNAC's a wild, wonderful thing, so we'll see how it goes. Well, I, uh, you know, to come back, uh, it didn't look good. We were fighting some foul trouble, and, and I mean, I thought our last eight minutes uh, was pretty good, and I thought our defense the last five, six minutes made a difference too. But um, back and forth game, it seems like each team had their rhythm going, and then they just had some inconsistencies, and I think that's probably still early in the season. But um, but I'm proud of our guys uh, for how we battled back and took care of our home court. Did you sense any nerves tonight? I mean, GNAC opener, start of your conference play, such an important game to get you going momentum-wise. Were there nerves, and did those show up in the game? Well, you know, I don't. You know, I think if they're going to show up, they're going to show up early. And we got off to a great start offensively, you know, with, with shooting it. And, and then I think late, you know, when we were down, you could maybe sense that you could get tight, but that's when Rollins hit a couple big threes. And, and so, no, they are, that, that shows me something right there that, uh, you know, they're, they're ready to compete and play in this GNAC, and, and they found a way to get it done. you got to be pretty happy with the stat sheet with uh, six different guys, eight or more points. You really spread it out tonight. Well, it is, and the biggest thing we're trying to do is we're trying to get some balance, you know, instead of just living with the jumper. Uh, you know, we're trying to get some inside-outside balance, and, and that's usually what Newburn and Howard can do for us, is to get us some inside hoops when you need it. Unfortunately, late it was tough to get it inside. Uh, they did a pretty good job, and plus they're big. You know, Cluden Kid is a big kid. And a little bit of a break now. Uh, usually in the GNAC, it's a game day, one day off, and then another one. Well, you play Tuesday night, you're off till Saturday now. Uh, plenty of time to prepare for Alaska Anchorage. Yeah, we'll, I think, look forward to a day off tomorrow. Uh, you know, we just played six games in 14 days. And uh, we're all worn out. And so hopefully we can regroup second GNAC game on Saturday. And then, you know, we kind of start getting a little more breaks. So uh, it's been a good stretch here at home for us. And looking forward to a Saturday night GNAC home game.